My titty hurts. You're cutting it in half. Don't you get off the titties? Actually met all of the neighbors. One of them came out and then literally woke everyone up in the neighborhood and had them come out and talk. It was so funny. I'm just like, okay, now I know literally every single neighbor. They got a, a neighborhood watch. We got chores. I don't know what I just signed up for. Don't poke Douglas. On my way out to the store, my neighbor comes, my other neighbor comes around the corner. Huge bag. This is the biggest cabbage I've ever seen. They are so sweet here. Look at how, can you see how big this cabbage is? And then she also gave me carrots and potatoes. Oh my God, I'm making a stew tonight for sure. When I first moved in, I wanted to properly introduce myself to all of my new neighbors and also get them a little something. I put together these little gift bags with snacks and American goodies inside, a card, and I went door to door and introduced myself. I'm a big gift giver and I don't want anything in return, but Japanese people are so sweet. I have been in a gift giving war ever since. Like it's bending here. <laughs> that meter was bending. We should take it back. I don't remember if this is the off-brand one or not, but they look very similar. It's supposed to be like a tatami mat patch. Honestly, I don't think this is gonna work, but you know, I had to try it just in case, cause that's a lot of money. At this point, it just kind of seems like putting a band-aid on a car crash. I think I could pull it off. Last time, walking up and down these stairs. That is done, never have to see those stairs again. Just got done with the inspection. Car full of just cleaning stuff. I can't believe how much cleaning stuff there was, but the yard was massive and needed a lot of things. The move out cost was still a little bit high. How much was it? 1,500 bucks. And that was like with the millions of dollars I already put down on the place just to move in and I still owe them money. And he wasn't even charging me damage fees. It was just cleaning fees, which was so weird because we spent so much time. See, that's exactly why I said I'm not cleaning this place because no matter what, they're gonna charge you anyways. So I spent all that time scrubbing and steaming the floor for what? Note to self, do not, I'm never ever cleaning when I move out ever again. The most you will get out of me is sweeping the floors. And that's just so you can walk. He even took off his shoes. I was like, I ain't taking off my shoes, it's dirty in here. <laughs> they charge cleaning fees based on how big your house is. I'm not ever cleaning, I'm so angry. My hands are still cold. So that's done, very excited. He only charged me only. That's not the word I should be using. He charged me. <laughs> 1,500 bucks, and that was mostly for the AC units, which for some odd reason was extremely expensive. They weren't damaged at all. They weren't like super dirty, nothing wrong with them. But they have this AC unit cleaning fee and I had two of them and that junk was like most of the cost. Ooh, the new house gonna be way worse. <laughs> He didn't look at anything. I told on myself. I was like, I did this, this damage right here on the wall. And he's like, ah, it's fine. He really did not care. I think because they took so much out of you in the beginning, like they have enough to repair the whole house when you move out. Excuse you. I'm so happy that's over. I'm literally still out of breath. Never want to see those stairs again. I'm so happy I'll never have to use them, especially with luggage. So yeah, that chapter is closed. Time to move on. Yay. Stay. I'll be back. Bye, Gigi. So in 2022, I set and accomplished so many goals. It was the year of the grind for me. Between buying my first house, moving out of one and moving into another, I was so busy. I want this year to be the year of enjoyment. Of course, still like working towards my goals. However, I really wanna focus on taking time to enjoy the rewards of my hard work.
I absolutely love being outside, especially when the weather is perfect. And I am so excited to finally live in a neighborhood that has a park where I can just chill and hang out. Japan has a lot of beautiful gardens and parks that you can walk through. However, unlike in America, they're not like those gigantic parks where you can just come and chill, barbecue, play basketball, tennis, all that stuff. Obviously, Japan is very small, so they have to make do with the space they have, and gigantic parks like that are very rare. Moving out of my old place was actually a lot of work, and I feel so much better now that it's over. So I thought I'd celebrate a job well done with a little relaxing picnic at the park with some delicious snacks from the sponsor of today's video, which is Tokyo Treat and and Sakurako. Tokyo Treat is a monthly pop Japanese snack subscription box. You'll get up to 20 of the latest, most exclusive limited edition and seasonal flavored Japanese snacks that are only available in Japan for a limited time. Sakurako is a monthly authentic Japanese snack subscription box, which also supports local Japanese snack makers. Each box comes with 20 traditional, authentic, and artisan Japanese snacks, including Japanese tea and a special Japanese tableware. Oh, it's a cute little glass. Both boxes come with a super helpful booklet that gives you all the information on the snacks, the ingredients, are they vegetarian? Is there an egg in there? Spring is like almost over in Japan, but you can still get a taste of Sakura season from the comforts of your own home. The theme for the Tokyo Treat Box this month is Sakura Starlight Snack Fest. Oh, banana caramel Kit Kat. I've never tasted that one. That sounds fine. Can you catch? My butt can't catch. <laughs> Oh. You, can, you can really taste the egg. This chocolate is super famous in Japan, and it's matcha truffled flavor. It tastes like money, it's like luxury. Oh, it does taste like luxury. Right? Picora, oh, sakura matcha. Mm. They make the perfect straws. Oh, and your matcha! And the theme for the Sakura Co box this month is Moonlight Sakura. Ichigo roll. Strawberry sponge cake. Mmm. Ooh, our cream is so good. Yeah, the cream is great. There's lots of senbei in this month's box, which is like a rice cracker. These go so well with beer. It's juice. The lies. If you guys are interested, head to the link down below in the description box and use the code Hanami. These beautifully designed Sakura boxes would make the perfect gift. Thank you again, Tokyo Treat and Sakura Co for sponsoring today's picnic. I'm so excited. I have been 100% living upstairs only. I have not touched this first floor. I have not done anything down here. I'm not in any of the rooms, not using it whatsoever because none of these rooms have an AC unit and it is literally freezing. It's impossible to be down here. The only one who comes down here is Kitty to use her litter box. Girl, you're scratching the wall again. She's actually so bad at being a cat. My office is just like a cleaning junk room right now. <sighs> But anyways, as I was saying, I'm excited because I went on ahead and just ordered one of these oil heaters online. This one was actually really pretty also, and it came early, yay. So yeah, I'm gonna set this up and see how well it can warm even one of these rooms, because if I can get into my office, I will be so happy. Yeah, you can have warm poops. It'd be great. Also, my hands are very ashy because I was just gardening. Not that they're not normally ashy, they're just extra ashy this time. Oh, you are not like how sexy this thing is. I've never seen a more beautiful heater. They had like all these different wood grains. I'm so glad it has wheels because it's just gonna have to go from room to room with me. Look, Gucci. Mm -hmm. Yeah, warm your fur. As I thought, the wood is like not the same as the other wood in this room, but I feel like there's so many woods going on. Maybe it's fine. Mr. G, you're not going outside. I'll put it in the middle. Dutch's favorite room is the office of the bedroom, and I'm like, that's actually perfect because that's probably where I'm going to be the most. All right, let's see if I can operate this thing. Let's try it on. There is a remote. Very pretty. Okay, the remote doesn't work either. So do I just like leave this on? Ugh. We like eco. All right, I need 
to go in and change my address. I think I probably still have mail at the old house. Uh, that's it? Oh. Uh, somehow that took literally, I'm not even exaggerating, I usually exaggerate when I talk, but like I'm not. That took five seconds. Now I have the rest of the day to do pretty much anything. I do need to go to the store and get a freaking AC unit because I have not been able to use downstairs. Rude. He's trying to see if he can get out without paying. It didn't go up. That ain't my problem. That ain't got nothing to do with me. Let's go. So yeah, I need to go buy an AC unit because I have not been able to set one toe downstairs at all. It's freezing. I bought like one of those little oil heaters and it has the temperature on there and it's like six degrees. I don't know what Celsius is, but that sounds very cold. Ice age down there. And the one on macadamia Currently trying to figure out why this is miniaturized. What happened in there? It's definitely smaller. Did I just get the wrong size? Yeah. Dang, that cookie's good. Oh my God, these things are crack. These definitely crack. We're like driving and Ash is like, man, this is the most- Ambulances. That I'm pretty sure that's not the plural. That sounds wrong. Ambuli. <laughs> <laughs> We keep seeing a lot of those recently and I'm like it's probably just because I rented a car for a whole month Obviously, we're doing more driving thus seeing more but I was trying to say like that is one of the words I just can't pronounce there are a couple of words I cannot pronounce no matter what like I can if I stop think and actually like sound it out But if it just comes out naturally, I say it wrong, which is ambulance Funerals and furniture. I can't say those three. It's over like you you know how you learn something wrong like early and at that point It's just too hard to correct I can't fix it. Ambulance. I can't be the only one. You're not the only one for sure. I feel like that's a really hard word to say. Ambulance. But you say aluminium. Aluminium? Yeah, that's good. I don't say aluminium. Yeah. I don't say aluminum. Yeah, because you're crazy. Aluminum? Yeah. Aluminum is right. Aluminium is right. No one says that, so I'm fine. We all collectively have agreed it's aluminum. No, Americans have collectively agreed. And it's Ikea. <laughs> Ikea. I agree with Ikea. <laughs> Comment down below what word you cannot say. It's furniture, not yeah. furniture. I say furniture. Ambulance. A lot of options. <laughs> nice. Nice. I'm a sucker for literally anything that I think will make my family happy. I'm so excited. My family's actually coming this year. And I remember like one of the things my sister loved the most when I was living in Korea, I used to have heated floors and she would be sliding around the floor so happy. Hey, it's something. <laughs> okay, all of a sudden I need a little USB thing, which I really don't need. But like, look at these. Oh my God, Evie. But they have Demon Slayer ones. Oh, this Nezuko one's calling me. Slow down, hold on tight now It's okay to meet me at the front line I've got 